Ron Froman? Wow. What the heck? You're right, it's like every dead person in this game is Gordon Froman. It's all that, it's just that popular. Oh yeah, in this room, do not touch the walls. As you can tell by the electricity, it hurts. See, even headcrabs die from it. So it'd actually probably be a good idea to not be touching the walls in there, but still, um... I'd back up for you. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, it'd probably be a good idea to just let the head crabs die from that. And no, I have not tried running that way, and I'm not going to try this one. Who? Who? I ain't Freeman, I'm Morse Man. Who are you? Who are you people who keep thinking you know me? You'll find more help. Just a few minutes of the river. It's the old red bar. Okay, we are a bit delayed on part seven. Here we are. Yeah, we don't have any weapons yet, though. When you get weapons on this thing, then it gets fun. Oh yeah, and there's a hunter fight on here. That's pretty exciting. And yeah, you want to come up here. Probably not by boat. I don't think that's the best way of getting up there, but... Mudskipper? Okay. So it's not a boat, it's Mudskipper. I can call it the Mudskipper, that sounds cool. Die. And I got ammo. But, yeah, you turn the valve on there, or the knob, or whatever you want to call it, and it opens this up. Yeah, I'm not quite as good of a driver as I am a player of this game. I know this kind of sounds weird, but driving is a little bit harder on this game than just being Gordon. I wonder what that green and red button do on the left. I can't press it, though. I can look at it, but not press it. Ow! Gee, man. Maybe one's turbo and one's, uh, brakes. You mean accelerating in brakes? Whoa! Okay, sure. Okay, yeah, I may want to use the gun here. Yes, I do prefer the pistol, um... It's a pretty good weapon. And it does not take too much ammo. Yeah, if they do that, get out of the way. I forgot about that. Low ammunition warning. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a part on uh, Half-Life Concern with this. Uh, no. It's the second time they've used Station 12 for a code name. It is? Yeah. When was the first? Um, I don't remember. It was way back to... I remember them saying it earlier. Okay. Oh yeah, you might want to try speaking up a little bit, because I don't know if it's picking your voice up really well or not. Sorry about that. I know I'm pretty much right next to the mic, but... Whoa. But I don't know it, how easy it's picking up your voice. Cause like on the Mega Man X walkthrough, you, you were barely audible. Oh yeah. Well, I'm not very loud by nature. In order to get that Lambda locator, that's all you gotta do. Dive, dive, dive! I'm, there we go. Now that is fun. Okay. Continuing. Dang, this place looks bad. And it's like, what, heavy?
that the air pollution or just the clouds? I can't really tell. What the heck is up with that? Weird. Anyways, yeah, continuing with the game. Very important that you ramp up this. If you don't, you can't get, move any farther. Why? Because that's a barrier that you can't get across unless you ramp up. Supplies. I can deal with that. Thanks. Never noticed them before. Of course, I this is the first time I'm doing a playthrough with subtitles on, so that might have something to do with it. And yes, you do need to come back here with the mud skipper. Can you see those blue barrels? They're packed with the air and they'll float. So, you get it, come under, and let it go. And there are more barrels up there and you do need to get as many barrels as you can. You're annoying me. Okay. And yeah, you want to come in through here in order to get those blue barrels that I was showing you that were on top of the grate. You know, for how good the textures are, this one actually seems kind of odd. Almost looks like the corners of the grate are kind of rainbowish. Okay, and... Where'd the other barrel go? There it is. Not underwater. Ha ha ha. Okay. And see what that does? That keeps that ramp up. So, so when you do ramp, it won't go down. So maybe you didn't actually need to take the mud skipper back here. Sorry about that. But now the ramp is supported, so let's go for it. Yeah! Whoa! Hunter. You know, I always wondered, the Striders and the Hunters, they are obviously robots, but they also kind of look biotic. Or symbiotic, whatever you want to call it. Splattered! Are they like... Um... Hey, yeah, Lambda Locator. I mean, are they like half alive, half dead, or not? What am I? Th what am I saying? Are they um half human, half robotic? Maybe not human, but life form. Life form, yeah. That, no matter how much research I've done on half life, I've never find found the answer for. Was that Roman in a dead form, like a burning form or whatever? Burnt. There we go. Hey, look, it's from and Skull. I wonder if we can get a, a Halo 3 achievement from this. Probably not. Yeah, one thing that's odd about this game, your flashlight, sprint, and oxygen are all based off your ox power. So if you do a lot of sprinting, don't stay underwater for very long because you're probably running low on power. Auxiliary, obviously. It isn't until either... Oh. Yeah, I'm there. You can see G-Man every now and then. He flashed probably about twice or three times while I was zoomed in on it. So if you want, try pausing it, and you'll... You can't find him. What, is it subliminal advertising or something? Maybe. 
Huh, that looks like a ramp. What do you know it is? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, okay. Backing up now. There's nothing left. That was weird and cool. Never done that before. Oh yeah, those things are armor tanks. He's still alive. Back up, back up. Move forward, move forward. He's dead now. Okay. Stop it. 